he is faithful. Those circumstances that are in darkness at the moment, those circumstances are all right. It's Spirit of the living God, speak to us. Speak to us, Lord. And when you do speak, I pray that we will write it down. We will place it in front of us and we'll say, thank you, God. We're going to wait for you to bring this about. And in the meantime, I'm not going to live by doubt. I'm not going to become a cynic. I'm not going to look at the negative. I'm going to live by faith. And I'm going to keep my eyes on Jesus. And I'm going to keep empowered by the Spirit. And when I feel as if Nothing's happening. I'm going to put some worship music on like Paul and Silas. And as I sit there waiting for you, God, I'm going to worship you. Because you are good and you have good plans for us. You've got a great future for every one of us. A future filled with hope and joy. And I thank you, God, you're working in our lives, even in so the burden for people in this place this morning, the burden of sickness, the burden of brokenness, the burden of I don't have any direction, Lord, speak very clearly to us this morning. I thank you, God, in the midst of the days, you are beside me. and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. So I lean on those promises. I don't lean on my doubts. I don't lean on my uncertainties. I don't lean on my worries. I lean on you and I place my trust in you. This morning, if that's you this morning, lift up your hand. That you would pray that you and your servants lift up your hands and say, Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Every hand that's raised in this place this morning. And I guess I want to ask you one question. The Bible says, For anyone in the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you're not in a relationship with God right now, we can say, Thomas, to pray for me. for eternal life. And the Bible says, who's thank you for in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And wait. Praying for twins and my girls hate. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for?